Hello, this is Logan Murphy again, and today we're going to start organizing our files um, and do a very, very brief introduction to PHP. So, looking at the same file we were working on um, in the last video, usually what you want to do, um, I only use the style tag when I am testing a bunch of new styles and I want to see how they work. Once I have them officially working, I will create a new folder. Call that folder the CSS folder. In that CSS folder, I'll create a CSS file. And we're going to call this template.css. And we take all the CSS that's in our style tag, take it out of there get rid of that and put our style here highlight everything and press shift tab to untab everything and I'm going to remove these comments that I feel are unnecessary just so that I have so it's easier to look at for me okay save that um, you can also optionally uh, format it so you go to the source menu and then choose format and it'll make it look the way it should look so if you're if you think you're not very good at making it look the way it looks good just go to source and format it's automatically done for you okay I'm also going to clean this file up a little bit I'm going to remove the last two articles um, just because they don't really add very much. Uh, okay. And when we look at this page now, all of our styling is gone. To put the styling back on, we don't use the style tag anymore. Instead we use a self-closing tag called the link tag. And it uses an attribute called href. So I'm telling you there's an attribute called href and its value needs to be the path to a CSS file from this file so right now the file we're in is index.php index.php is right here to get to the CSS file we need to first go to the CSS folder so that's the first thing we type once we're inside the CSS folder we can go to template.css to separate folders from files just put the slash or CSS and there's the rel attribute and this is always going to be style sheet these two attributes right here rel and type rel is always going to be style sheet type is always going to be text CSS for the link tag so we can save it make sure that it works you see that it does work um, I'm gonna remove these comments too because at this point they don't really help me and the last one also I want to get this image because if you remember in the last video I actually lost my internet connection so I couldn't view this image anymore so save this image as and you're probably going to have to save it to the desktop for now uh, just give it a good name film.jpg once it's on the desktop uh, you're going to want to navigate to um, C drive uh, inet pub ww root while you're here, actually in here, in um, Eclipse, you want to right click the project again, create a new folder for images. Okay, so now we have this images folder. We come back to the WW root, and there's this images folder, and this is the folder where we should put images. And make sure you do continue. Make sure the image is here, and 
when we use this source now instead of going to a totally different website we need to provide the path to the image so and that path is relative to this file so once again we're index.php index.php is here to get to the image we need to go to the images folder first so images is the first thing we type we type a slash to separate folders from files we have to do a refresh on this um, and it'll see the files in here now and the next thing we need to type once we're in this folder film dot j p e g save it refresh it or sorry refresh this and just to make sure that I mean it looks exactly the same but to make sure that it's actually changing we can view the source as we've done before and you see that it's css slash template dot css and images slash film dot jpeg so the way we should organize our website we should have a folder for all the css we should have a folder for all of our images and in the future we'll have folders for other things such as documents we would have a documents folder we could also have a script folder for javascript once we start to do that okay so next this whole page right here is actually what I call a template um, I want every single web page on a website to look to start with at least from here to here and from here to here this is the only thing that really changes about every web, web page this part so this is our brief introduction very very brief introduction to PHP um, so the thing that comes before our dynamic or changing content is called the header so we'll create a new folder and we'll call it the template folder in the template folder we'll do a new uh, PHP file and we're going to call this header.php and we need to figure out what code do we go down to before it starts being dynamic and it starts being dynamic at this first article okay. that's the only thing that really starts to be the different uh, part of the HTML so we need to go all the way down to the beginning of this container take all this code and put it in our header Once again, we'll make a new file in our template folder, bphp again, except this will be the footer.php. And I'll explain exactly what we're going to do with these files. So take everything from this closing div. This div right here originally closed that container. Okay. So the container that we that cut, this container. Right now it says it has no closing tag, but eventually this will be the closing tag, and you'll see how I do that in a minute. So, in order to do PHP, you do less than question PHP. Well, um, Eclipse finished it for me. I just had to press less than question, and it finished it for me. And this is where we put PHP code and PHP comments slash slash. This is where put PHP code and we're going to put PHP code before this dynamic content and after this dynamic content and we're going to use the simplest function of PHP and that's include and we're going to include template slash header dot PHP which pretty much tells PHP hey go to the template folder which is relative to this folder go to the template folder which it goes here then go to header.php folder which is right here so it goes to this file and it takes all this stuff the stuff that we just copy and pasted and it puts it right here copies and pastes it for us so we can reuse this code on every web page that we use and we're not just copy pasting this, instead we're just copy pasting this. 
so that if this file ever were to change it would change everywhere instead of us having to go into every single file and updating every single file we also want to include template slash footer dot php refresh it see that it works and it seems to be working so we can minimize these folders uh, so this file is a lot simpler I'm going to actually get rid of this just make it only one line of code get rid of this make it one line of code save it you don't really need to have this indented anymore because you don't really know it's in a tag right now or you can just see what uh, Eclipse does with it and you can also go to uh, the header see well uh, you can see what Eclipse does with this but I'm not sure if it'll be pretty that's fine and you can see what Eclipse does with this and I don't particularly like that so I'm gonna undo it and say this actually I'm gonna undo this as well because I like my formatting better alright so this is a more organized website I'm Logan Murphy and I will see you next time